Okay, so now that the war is over between me and the Iroquois up to the north, um, I really need to start focusing on filling in the rest of my land and expanding my empire, empire a little bit and definitely doing some exploration because civilization is all about um, finding what what other nations are around and you know, just exploring uh, living your civilization out to the fullest and not just war and conquest and taking as much land as you can so um, I definitely need to do that and in order to um, succeed with that I'll definitely need to shore up my defenses a little bit in case the Iroquois get upset at me again and decide to declare war for whatever reason so uh, but first I would like to clarify a couple things that I have learned about um, this game um, somebody left in the comments that the reason why I couldn't shoot over forests or hills with my ranged units was because I do not have artillery research yet um, so thanks to the commenter for that I remember their name, I can't, well I don't remember their name, otherwise I would say it, but thanks to them. It's in, one of, it's in the comments of one of my previous videos. Cities can bombard besiegers. Um, okay. So, oh, okay, so there's the barbarians coming up at me again. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of work my army down a little bit to try to limit the amount of gold I'm spending on unit upkeep because unit upkeep is very expensive for the most part and first of all putting what units I can into cities is extremely helpful with that because the upkeep on them is less I'm pretty sure when they're inside cities so I'm gonna move my units back to the cities and probably change my mind about this archer I'm gonna leave him close by awesome over here so that way um, if the Iroquois do decide to attack we'll be there to defend. Um, they won't be able to shoot over this hill though so I, I'll probably have to move them, um, move them over here so that we'll be able to shoot over the hill. And the knight is inside awesome so it'll be, that'll be awesome. And I don't need to be building any more legions because I'm not at war with anybody so I'll go ahead and build a settler don't need any more horsemen so I'll build a settler out of that one as well and circus is good so I can build up my uh, happiness because well golden ages are very important with uh, when trying to uh, expand your nation because it's going to provide you with a lot of production and a lot of uh, I believe it increases food as well let's see no uh, just production and gold so I'm gonna get a lot of gold and a lot of production out of that um, and you know I can actually start a golden age with my general right now because I probably won't need to use him anymore so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that and the thought behind that is I'm not probably not going to be going to war anytime soon because I hope that you're quite learned their lesson because I I absolutely demolished them when they tried to go to war with me it was a little bit of a, a slow start down here at Neapolis, um, but as soon as I repelled their initial invasion, I was able to uh, get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> I was able to uh, push into their land pretty effectively. Uh, it was almost like a blitzkrieg after their initial attack was repelled. So, um, so let's see, lighthouse plus one food. Neapolis does have a lot of water tiles so plus one food there is going to be helpful once it starts expanding culturally and when this worker is done I'm going to have him come up here and build on this wheat so we can do that. I'm going to go ahead and fortify my knight in my city and we'll just go on to the next turn. So my plan here is to try to build up culture in my city so the borders will expand so I can fill in this entire area and then just expand to all this open land and then um, going to be pumping out some units here probably let me see what kind of land units I can, or sea units I can build right now all I can build is triremes so I'm going to look at my science and see what I can get science wise to try to get a better um, 
naval unit. So right now I'm researching compass and my queue is set up for machinery. But I want to get this caravel so I can go and explore the ocean. So I'm going to go ahead and leave compass. Going to shift click education and then shift click astronomy. And that way I will get uh, the caravel as soon as possible. And once I get caravel, I can start exploring the rest of the world. I, I honestly don't know if I do have 12 opponents, and I really hope it's not, because otherwise this is going to be a long game, and, or I'll probably have to win with either a cultural or diplomatic type victory. Um, I believe they do have space race victory as well. Uh, let's see, victory progress. So, oh, the science project? So, let's see what we have to do to win a science project. I don't know. Don't know what the deal with that is. Uh, domination, probably not going to be able to do that if there are that many people, but I could probably get a cultural victory, so probably going to be going for um, just massive amounts of culture. So step one is going to be getting a lot of cities, and then I can build a bunch of cultural, cultural, bl 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 culture producing buildings in those cities, so that way I can. Uh, Bushido has realized in the presence of death. This means choosing death whenever there is a choice between life and death. There is no other reasoning. So that way I can get the cultural victory eventually. But um, I have produced the Himeji Castle. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, I think it is a, a Japanese castle, if I'm not mistaken. Bushido, I think, is the uh, samurai way or something like that. But this uh, Himeji Castle is going to be very good for me when I want to defend my land. If the Iroquois decide to try to attack me again, I'll be able to just defend that a lot easier. Because I'll have bonus defense. Bonus uh, combat strength in my own borders. And if I expand my culture, I'll have more border and thus I'll have more defensive abilities. And looks like I can also choose a new social policy, which will be very helpful. Um, let's see, wonders. Culture cost of requiring new tiles reduced by 75% in every city. Now this could be pretty beneficial to me um, to finish completing, just like filling in all these holes in my territory right now. So I could do that. But because right now my land is kind of restricted, who knows. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Just because wonders usually, um, I don't know, they usually do good things. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, have I adopted... I haven't adopted any new social policy yet, but I would like to uh, finish tradition here. So I'm going to go ahead and complete tradition. Oh, looks like I unlocked an achievement, master of the house. So I um, I completed my tradition. So I'll be able to. Um, I got one towards my utopia project. So I need to get four more. And I think I um, I remember trying to look up the one that helps with culture, and it, it is freedom. So I'm going to be trying to get freedom if I want to go for the utopia project. So I'm going to be getting um, Constitution and Free Speech probably would be my uh, freedom choices. And probably get Commerce so I can help get a lot of money. <laughs> money can be helpful in every aspect of it. And after that I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, figure it out as we go. So I don't, I don't get the... I won't be able to get um, freedom until I get the Renaissance era. So if we look at the science vessel, or the science, um, had a Starcraft moment there, science vessel. Um, no, if we look at the science tree here, the tech tree, uh, I'll be able to get Renaissance. So I'll be able to get freedom as soon as I get um, astronomy research. So looking at about 15, 32 turns roughly before I can get that. And It'll take me about 40 turns or so to get my cult another cultural thing. So I might just 
Uh, so yeah, it'll work out great. Is what it seems like to me. So that. Uh, oh, the wonder I was trying to build was built in a faraway land. So I'm gonna have to change my production here. It'll give me a prompt for that, so I wouldn't have to actually go in here and do that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna build a temple so I can get plus three culture, and we'll send my worker to build the wheat like I was planning. And now it's just a matter of uh, waiting for my settlers to get built. I, I cleared out a oh, little bit of lag there. Uh, I cleared out all the barbarian encampments as far as I know. People with the pointy sticks on four. I guess this is going to be who has the largest army, <laughs> or the maybe the most advanced army. I don't know. Uh, but I cleared out most, if not all, of the barbarians that were in my area. So. I could probably expand without sending escorts, but I'll probably send escorts anyway because it's a good habit to be in. Um, meanwhile, um, is that marble right there? What, what is this? Iron marble. Now, I believe one of my cities was demanding marble, if I'm not mistaken. I believe one of them is. Yeah, I think. Kuma, maybe? Don't hate me, but I kind of forgot how to check that. <laughs> anyway. Um, so we've already reached 14 AD. If you can look up here and I'll tell you what the year is and how many turns we've done. So we've done 200 turns and we've reached uh, 1400 AD. So we're, we're moving pretty far along in history. Um, I feel like my technology is lacking <laughs> compared to what happened in the real world around 1400. I find the great thing in this world is not so much where we stand, as in what direction we are moving. That's a pretty good quote. Not sure who Oliver Wendell Holmes is, but I'm a pretty smart guy with that quote. But I'm going to go ahead and send my uh, Legion and my uh, Settler out to expand. Now, the neat thing is, is when you have your Settler selected, sometimes it'll tell you good places to expand. Um, and if we, oops, wrong button. If we pull up the resource icons and the yield icons, it'll tell us um, information that would be useful for figuring out where we would want to build our cities. So this one, um, these two choices seem to be all right as far as building building cities. Um, this one is on a hill, which would provide extra defen uh, defensive bonuses. Um, provides good access to luxury resources which when improved will improve the happiness of the empire. So it's talking about marble. Um, I think though if I want to get access to the marble, the gear, the spices, and potentially this wheat over here, I'll want to build a little bit further to the, the east. So I could build on top of this hill or this hill maybe and get access to all that stuff as well. But I'm not sure how far the uh, city's influence goes as far as which tiles they can use. So, um, yeah, I'm not so sure, but maybe building here would let me use as many tiles, give me the most um, efficient use of my land. But I think building maybe on